Well, that went fucking awesome. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Oh, holy crap. I died and went to heaven. Shut down. Shut up. <sighs> I literally don't know what the hell happened. Uh, I got a blue screen and I haven't gotten that in like a month and a half or more of uh, power management failure. I have a feeling it has to do with this stupid power brick or um, uh, USB power strip or not power strip, but uh, strip that I have. I'm going to have to figure out some. Everything seems to work fine if it's plugged directly into the computer. But as soon as I plug this uh, USB strip in, it seems to do that. And the only thing I have plugged into there is the stream deck. So I don't know. Uh, ridiculous. Re freaking donkulous. Uh, I don't know why Lexi's all the way over there and there. In fact, I don't even know why Lexi's in that. Because, well, she's in, she's out. She's in, she's out. Don't even know. Don't even know. We'll lock, we'll lock that shit down. Ah. So this kit is not available anymore. You can get uh, bootlegs of it. Uh, that is the pretty much the only way that you're going to end up finding it. Uh, mostly because NeoGrade stopped producing kits um, because of bootleggers completely ruining the market. Um, yes, they ruined it for everybody. There were so many different companies. Um, <clears throat> if the volume's low, I will, I'll kick it back up. But it's showing it's uh, it's showing it's up in the yellow for me. And I literally have the microphone like three inches. Okay, here, we'll turn that up. <sighs> I don't think it can get much louder. I mean, it can, but nobody wants that. Is this better? Is this better? Does somebody want me just to whisper in their ear? Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. You want to touch my resin? <laughs> anyway. Now that I've creeped everybody out. Uh, I'm going to have to stand up for this. Yep, you just listened to that happen. And that's why I'm going to pin this bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck my life. I got to find all these parts. There's a part. There's a part. Everywhere, everywhere, there's a part. This is the downside of magnetizing everything. And it not being stable. But, oh, it works so good. Oh, all over here. Oh, there's a part over there. We got piles of parts here and piles of parts there. Piles of parts, piles of parts, piles of parts everywhere. No, I'm not acting like a... Okay, yes. Uh, yes, I'm acting like a crackhead right now. But I'm literally making sure there's no other little parts just floating around. But don't worry. Everything's good. Everybody's safe. This is a sort of safe space. 
put your fat ass over there so I can get the microphone out of my grill. All right, that's better. Holy shit, it's hot in here. I was going to say, you said Asuka, Os and I'm like, are you sh are you sure? Uh, okay, well, put magnets over there. Let's put the drill on the ground so I don't kill myself. Let's tear off this other arm and put it over there with that and that and all these little parts are falling off oh holy crap come watch dave break shit do 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 Dee 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 dee. I'm breaking it. Oh yeah, I'd help if you could see what the fuck I was doing. Welcome to the fuck off stream. Maybe I shouldn't have done that shot before everything, huh? That might have been a bad idea. Do 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 do. Do, 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 uh, she looked good is 60, then 20 after, uh, for shipping. So I think that same one over on, uh, not Gundam planet, Gundam central, I think it was like, uh, on sale for like 140 for the original PVC. So yeah. That might be something to consider. Okay. So let's try this again without breaking shit. Uh, pivot this around. We'll zoom in. We'll focus. That's about as zoomy as I get. Okay. So. This we want in here. And that should right? Yeah. And then this should go in there. Get in there. It's supposed to. Doesn't quite go. So we will fix this. We will fix it because that's what we do. Let's get the drill. And drill out the hole. He drills the whole thing. By hand, he drills the whole thing. By hand. <clears throat> Pretty sure I'm going to hell for, for that. That's okay. Because that's where all the good girls go. Or else. Maybe asking yourself, Dave, are you about to put another magnet in that side too? No, I'm making a pinhole for this side. I'm not that stupid as much as Jim claims. By the way, I have my last two statues for a while coming from Senpai Toy in Thailand. Uh, I don't think I have the link in the bottom right now. 
um, but they have been super cool people to deal with. So if you get a chance, definitely check them out. That's senpaitoy.com. Right, senpai toy. Is it senpai toy? I'm gonna check and make sure that I'm um, giving the right website, cause Sensi Toy. SensiToy.com. I don't know why I kept thinking it's senpai. S e n s e i t o y dot com. I don't know why I kept thinking senpai toy. I've got senpai on the brain. He's got all the cheese in his hand. He's got all the cheese. Okay, so we're gonna mark that and that. And we're gonna mark that and that. Oops, yeah. one and that one do 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 uh do you have any other neo grade kits all i have is a uh figure bust from them uh and that is it as far as uh, figure kits. I mean, as far as any Neo grades. They are a rare commodity now. Should be good. That doesn't mean I am good. It just means I should be good. Chris Jones, I like the one where she's in her Knights of the Blood Oath uniform. Yes. Uh, which figure of bust? Uh, I, the only one that they did, if if I remember correctly, it's the chick with the green hair. Don't remember who she is. It's the only bust that I remember that they did. Uh, Dr. Jim Eagle the second probably already went over this, but how's the mold quality on this big bastard? In a word. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I do. Um, Neo Grade was one of uh, the best, the premiere resin casters for anything gunpla related oop i just i just squirted it all over my hand uh, where's my cd there's my cd woods get quick stick it to the top Um, yeah, I miss the Neo grade quality. I really, 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 really do. Anything, anything that Neo grade put out, um, originally was fantastic. I have no affiliation. I have no reason to say, uh, to give any other feedback other than honest. So that's what I'm doing. Like just straight up honest feedback. Yeah. What's up, John? Um, is someone in the discord? Just me, just me. I think I'm in the discord. It looks like I'm in the discord. Hey, John. 
Hello. Yeah. No, John's in the Discord. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, if you can get your set hands on an original, not a knockoff, an original Neo Grade at a reasonable price that whoever's not wanting to, you know, charge you, you know, six thousand dollars for it, do it. Basically, find someone that doesn't know what they're selling. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I will tell you, was it the Neo Grades that came that way, or was it? Oh no, it was the SMS that came in like the uh, the red cloth covered shoe boxes, huh? It's been a while. I haven't had a, I haven't owned SMS kit in, in like six or seven years now. Yeah, I think it was I think it was SMS that did that. So. Um, The Neo Grade, where is it? The instructions. Uh, the instructions are uh, look like this. Now they tried, and at the time it was it was kind of revolutionary. Um, yeah, that was an insane amount of instructions for a resin kit back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> That's but basically unheard of. <laughs> they tried to be revolutionary because they made parts to uh 3d printed parts to make them unique and identifiable they were always in this green um yeah. and They're the only company i knew of that ever used like 3d parts separate from the resin yeah it's supposed to prevent people from bootlegging it from, re from, re from recasting it and i think they just like either scrap those pieces or they like create their own solution for that for those pieces well i know S yeah. i know sms like for this piece for the head they literally just took it apart and recasted it in regular resin yeah. Okay. yeah um yeah, i know the gerber tetra i think had like an interest has like an has like a interesting like piece for like the elbow and knees Oh okay. And they cast it as they cast it in one fucking piece, but it bends. Yeah, I yeah. I still have no idea how they. I still have no idea how they did that, because it looks like a clusterfuck. But it also means it's impossible to take it apart and disassemble and clean. Yeah. Which is well, why I'm a little upset. <laughs> well, that's like this this piece right here. Yeah. Uh, it's literally all one piece. Like I can't. There's no separation in here. And same way with this piece in here. The rod and all these pieces are all one piece. So they 3D printed that as one piece. <laughs> Um, but PA even back in those days were known for his 3D printing. Um, and I've seen pictures of his 3D printer on Instagram. Some bitch is the size of a Volkswagen bug. And I'm sure it costs as much, if not more. Um, but like... <sighs> I would be interested to see how much cleanup, if any, was needed. I mean, he's got a new printer, which is really nice, which is what he's been printing all his, like, 148 scale kits on. Yeah. Like, he printed that 148 fucking construction. Yeah. <laughs> Bastard. And weren't those binders, like, one piece? Like, the shell of the binder? Yeah, I, th I, th I, th I think it was basically one piece. Yeah, that's, that's crazy to print something that big. Well, I, I think... It's the main binder was basically two pieces, but it was because he wanted to have the gimmick of it opening up. I can just I can check his Instagram. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Jim says, "What's up, John?" Um, Jim Eagle. Uh, I have not heard had the opportunity. To drop the kind of dough on neo grade demands or rec uh, recast any good at all um i would pick and choose i haven't tried any of the new uh the neo grade recast from gk uh model but uh all their other stuff is pretty good so uh, you could try it the um, only thing i would be wary of is the fact that they say that they recasted theirs from super g i want to say I, I, re I recall it saying super g okay yeah so who, who weren't exactly known for quality recast in the first place they're sort of known for being like very much half-assed recasters like you what know, it wasn't so it's not but it's not so bad at the level as some of the recasters that samuel used 
some of the Samuel kids that Samuel sold from, who I think they're called UC, UC cast. Oh yeah, UC cast. Which are like absolute rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, as we found out with from that Kasatria that I ended up getting. Um, let's see here. Uh, E two zero four kissed. Oh, uh, always have pretty pictures. Um, uh, but I've only had bad, heard bad things. Um, yeah, I kind of same way. Uh, had to have a cockpit. I can't make it out. Um, I mean, sort of. Like you can see it, but you can't. You can't open it to. Um, let's see if I turn this down. And zoom in. So, it kind of does, but you can't really see it to make it out. Uh, you've got this clear piece. Yeah, you uh, see the general shape of the ball, but not it's not like super detailed or anything. Because I mean, they're not meant to be. They're not meant to be. It's not like a massacre kit. It's not meant to be like, oh, hey, look at the inner frame. It's all super detailed and shit. No, just meant yeah. to just no, have but... the details that you could see from the outside, just visible. If, if you want one of those, then Grand Systems is the company that makes the, um, the 124th Sosby, uh, head. Um, I have, and it's mechanical, so it opens and closes and everything else. Um, I have that, and I also have the new slash high new head. I think I ended up getting both of those from, from, uh jim which jim told me if i ever were to get rid of those that he wants wants them back so which is understandable there is what work in progress i forgot how much fucking masking you did on that goddamn binder oh yeah no, the binder is multiple pieces, Dave. I'm oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm even seeing where he broke it down. Like, he, like each part of the sh binder, the each the edge for each side. Uh huh. He even broke it into separate parts for each side because he wanted to mask the shit out of it. Oh. God. Better but him I mean, doing like, that shit than us. He didn't cast it in huge pieces though. Like each piece is like the size of his hand, basically. Like I know the ch I know the chain guns are like the size of his forearm. Yeah, that was fucking crazy. Not even, for not even forearm. It's, actually, it's, it's not even the size of his forearm. It's the size of his actual length of his arm. <laughs> I was surprised he brought his high new back to his to his uh, studio. Oh, the big one. Yeah. Cause I I remember seeing it at a shop when I I saw it at a shop when I was in Korea in 2014. Um. But they had a very strict no photo policy, so I can never take a picture of it. Oh, and I first saw it from the outside of the window. I'm like, man, that looks a lot like Pia's work. <laughs> and then I walk, I walk in, I look at the sign, and says, "Oh yeah, it's done by Pia." I'm like, oh no, fucking wonder. Explain a lot. <laughs> uh, we're talking about Pia Selfied. He is. He was the. Uh, owner of Neo Grey before they stopped doing Gundam kits. Uh, he does Hot Toys now mostly, and his own he does his own work. Yeah, uh, Hot Toys. I know he did a few. I know he did a few statues for like Dota Two, like championship stuff. Uh, he did and he, a couple. And he makes of... some non. He, he he loves robots. Is really what it is. Yeah, he uh, he did a couple of, um, he did a couple. I forgot what the bear things are called. Um, not the bear. Uh, I know, I know what you're talking about. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he I did some name, but prototyping of those and stuff like yeah. that. He's prototyped a lot of stuff. Um, oh, what was it called? Were they called Beast Wars? Oh, something like that. It was, it was something very close to that. Um, not Beast Wars, like, oh god, I'll have to check Bluefin's site. Give me a sec. They might. I'm not even sure if they still have it on their site anymore. Um, now he's really gotten into um, like Geiger-esque 
uh, well, not even Geiger-esque, but, um, uh, I mean, he just, he, oh, yeah. he's just very more of a surreal artist now when he's not doing mecha stuff. Yeah. Like, not even, like, well, not, not even just mecha stuff in general. He, he, even for mecha stuff, he's doing sort of that. But, like, outside of the, like, anime mecha, he does, like, really surrealistic artist sculptures type of stuff nowadays. Um. Because I know he's been, like, doing his own museum exhibitions and stuff. Oh, okay. So he's been moving away from, like, stuff like that. I know some of them went to Wonderfest in China. Um, but I don't think he was actually selling pieces. I just think it was mostly just for showing off as like more of an like art, art show type of piece. Mm -hmm. And some of those pieces were too big for it to be like kids for people. Cause like he had like a mechanical woman who was like three quarter scale, I want to say. Well, I know he did, uh, he did one and it was basically Sill from Species? I don't know what that is. Um, which it was ba it's a basically a Geiger style design. Um, I know he did like mechanical shoes too, like sort of like um, like really fancy like mechanical look like shoes, but they were like more mechanical looking in, mm -hmm. in his style. Um, that would have been cool. I know he's responsible for basically every single Hot Toys, um, Iron Man, basically. Um, I don't think he's involved with Hot Toys anymore, though. Um, or at least as far as I'm aware. Because he, he'll give shout out, he'll give them shout outs, but he doesn't, it doesn't seem like he's actually on a working basis with them constantly anymore. Because he used to show off like prototypes himself. Yeah. I know for sure the last one I know for sure that he worked on was the Hot was the Mark V Hot Toys figure. The one where from the second Iron Man movie where like the armor all opens up and stuff. Yeah. Uh honestly the the garage kit companies that aren't in China, they they, they quit. <laughs> the simple reason? Recasting. <laughs> It's a huge problem in the industry. It's uh, MS Build folded as well because of it. Who else folded? Um, GMG. Um, a lot of companies. V did. VP folded. I can't remember what the VP was stuff was short for. I want to say like Battle Vicious. Pro, but this is project. That's Vicious. what it was. Vicious project. Yeah. Um, but all of them are just victims of recast recasting. Um, I know there was a garage kit seller for Gundam kits in the US. He did like Gundam Wing kits back at a time. And he he quit too. And that was speak and that was um I think it was taught to hobby in like in the in the San Jose uh, San Francisco area. Who sold his who sold his kits? And I heard he, I heard, this is a rumor, but he got really pissed with them because the kits, supposedly the kits that he had made for them to sell, he had basically, they had basically restarted recasting his kits and selling them like low quality, like low end recasts basically. Um, so he wasn't getting his cut from the kits. Um, yeah, I think I heard that too, and they lost a lot of uh, a lot of the followers and stuff because of even if it was just rumors, because I, yeah. I don't remember them ever disputing it. Yeah, they never they never said they weren't. So and it was pretty simple. Just put a message saying like, you know, we were never involved in that shit. <laughs> hey, Miss um, Lexi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What are you up to tonight? Procrastinating all the adult chores that I should be doing. Oh. Um. So, uh, because I have to ask, what did you end up, uh, 
graduating to uh, weapon wise? Uh, sword and shield, and I think I'm like at a hunter dagger three or something. I've upgraded it like three or four times. Nice. Yeah. Finally defeated Jagras, and then I almost had the pookie pookie thing, and I cut off its tail. But and it's laid you. <laughs> It's slaying you that it's slaying it. you slaying it, I see. <laughs> Look, it just takes me some time, okay? <laughs> How the table have turned. Mm -hmm. From uh, getting lost on the map and falling off a cliff and ending up in I have no idea where to being able to slay an actual monster. You're hey. on the path. I know, I'm I'm proud of you. Up. I'm proud of you going from playing Kingdom Hearts to to that and then wanting to play a distance weapon to going I can't do anything <laughs> to getting a moving up to a sword and shield yeah, yep, it easier <laughs> damn it did I lose again so he did work on the, what was it the war machine, the Civil, the Civil War war machine, the one in like the American the American flag colors. That was the that was the last post he made referencing like a piece he actually directly worked on in 2019. Oh okay. For PA. He made a really cool gun buster too. Fucking gigantic. Mm. Uh, where are my nippers? All right, Hosey's your game modified and clipped off. I know he also did sort of like giant Lego minifigs, but they were based. They were all like old school, like rob, like um, super super robots or like Power Rangers and stuff. Oh, that's Lego what Lords. I was. That's what I was thinking of the minifigs. The yeah, big minifigs. Well, he, well, they also did like chibi like chibi characters mm -hmm. under a different company. It, it was Beast something. Beast Kingdom, I think it was. That's what it was. Beast Kingdom. I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure he he's still with work working with them. But they were, they did a lot of like Transformers type of stuff. Like I know they also did some like War Warcraft stuff as well. But I think they canceled. I think they got all a lot of the stuff got canceled. Mm. Um, like I know they did like a Django Fett figure. Yeah. It, it, it felt like it wanted to be a competitor to, um, like, Nendroid slash Funko. Uh, but they still have some, like, nicer pieces that aren't, like, chibi style. Like, they have this, like, really cute, like, Winnie the Pooh one and Dumbo that are, like, $30, which is, like, really oh. nice for gifts for kids. I want a Winnie the Pooh one. Did I, did I tickle your, your childhood memories, Lexi? <laughs> I... I'm not gonna lie, I really have no idea what you were talking about until you said Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> but now I want one. I mean, it's cute. I think it would be up your alley. Uh, if you don't you like, like it, then... Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, load. Well, now we know what to load, get you load, for load, load, load. Christmas gifts. We need the poo stuff. <laughs> load, 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 load. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is what. It's so good. It's great, right? It's so good. Now, sp now spend money on it. It's only thirty dollars. <laughs> I love it so much. Now I just need to see if they have a Princess Tian one. Oh my God, they have a Frozen Brody. I'm surprised they even have an Ursula figure that like very much matches her feel. So it's crazy. So this is one of the pieces that 
you know, he tried to do to counteract uh, the copyright is this is all three uh, 3D printed and all one all one thing. I'm obsessed. So it uh, this actually moves. I probably shouldn't have looked here because I'm probably going to buy a few things as gifts for friends for birthdays. Probably a lot of good stuff that would be good as a gift. <laughs> How can I? Alright. Here's the, the number real... one. The real is question up... is how can I mute a YouTube video while still keeping the actual sound going on Discord? <laughs> Just hit the little hit the mute button, button on the video. Nah, I'm on my phone, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a. There's a mute button still. Where? If you open the YouTube video, there's a mute. Like, you know, the same place where you control the volume, you can just click the actual volume icon and it'll just mute it instead. Ryan, I, I might be on crack because I don't see that. Oh, let me get my phone. Might be on drugs. Did they, get, did they get rid of the volume button? I I think so, cause um, me no see. And if I uh, turn down the volume, then I will no longer hear you. <laughs> so let me see. If not, it's fine. I'll just have to go hunt down my computer wherever the hell it is. See if it's charged. my computer it's a lot easier there's that uh i'm going to end oh, up oh i see you have to go back you have to go to the settings lexi oh sh okay uh, for the on. actual video you have to go you have to go to your account settings wait my account settings on youtube yep okay hold the phone all right going into settings and you go into like time watched and there's time? a whole let me see if, see if I can navigate there myself on my phone. Hmm. Dirk. Oops. Settings. I can find the audio because it looks like this is a new. This is a quick for the hyena comes. Uh oh. It's on a. Oh, time watched. Okay, there's the button. Um. So Jim asked, uh, "What happened the other day?" He's kind of doing his own thing. He popped in to audio the other day during the live stream, but. Um, he's just kind of doing his own thing, just kind of being him, so... Hope he's doing well. Yeah. Yep, I told him to take care of himself, not to worry about the stream. Uh, he's got other shit to worry about, so... So it looks like they got rid of it in the time watch section. So let's see. I'm not worried about it. I'll just go find my computer. Oh, Dumbo! <laughs> I 
literally just have this thing like like just half of this is just sandwiched together like I haven't even done anything with it oh Dumbo's so cute oh I want one how do I find one of these Oh my gosh, they make a monster sink. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, they make a Disney, Disney princess. Oh, Ursula. Oh, okay, I'm feeling Ursula. <laughs> but the real question is, they make these princesses. Is there a Princess Tiana one? That's, that is the real question here. I wonder if I can just search and see if there is one. Oh, it just just kidding. I'm DuckTales Darkwing. Oh my gosh. I love this princess bundle. This is so cute. I don't know what it is that I'm actually looking at, but I'm obsessed now and I blame whoever sent this to me. That would be John, and now he's cackling in the background because he has now corrupted another soul. I am innocent. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Right up there with the trash pandas. I haven't done shit. <laughs> right up there with trash pandas. John is good. Okay. He just he just puts the link out there. What you do is on you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Nobody believes that shit. <laughs> what do you mean? There's no Princess Tiana. You have everything else. Oh wait, they might come up. They might come up. They might come up more. Well, Princess Tiana was before Rapunzel and all the other ones. It's because she's black. I know it. See, Jim, I also like the Formania design a lot too. I just wish we got like a proper look at what the full design was supposed to be. It's like, and like GMG obviously made their own interpretation of what like the rest of the was supposed to be based off the top half, but we only get the, the true for many design that only includes the busts. Ooh, Beauty and the Beast and Rapunzel. You can buy all the Disney princesses. I probably will, even though I really shouldn't, but I would do the storybook version of them. Just because they look really pretty. So, like, a billion years ago, Disney used to come out with these collectible snow globes. But they weren't your regular sized snow globes. Like, these were elaborate, massive creations. Like, they were massive. I have five of them. <laughs> What? I said I have five of them. Shut up, do you really? Which ones do you have? Uh, I have the Beauty and the Beast, which I only managed to f get from the Disney store. Their display piece that Lumiere has a broken hand. Um, I have the Aladdin one. I th think a Bambi one. Um, there's a couple of them. Uh, Heidi's a freaking Disney fanatic. So, my aunt has every single one ever made. <sighs> Dating all the way back from when they first started. Her entire house is covered in them. The next time I can get into her house, I'll have to take pictures so you can show Heidi. But I am obsessed with them. And I, well, my I really want really the Princess Tiana ones. <laughs> So, because hers are the musical glitter globe things. Yeah. Hey, shut up, they make one? That's not the real one, I don't care. Uh, I am kind of so sad because the Aladdin one uh, over the years has water evaporating out of it somehow. Mm hmm. Hers it, does too. Oh, okay, so it's not, not real. Like she has one of she has this one. Yeah, let me see if I can send it to you. Just 
kidding. She has that one. I mean, she has, a, like, all of them. Uh... The Nightmare Before Christmas one, I think, is my favorite. Only because it's the biggest one, and it's the entire graveyard scene. But they're all the musical ones, so they all have the little twisty things on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't even think they make them anymore, actually. Probably not, because there probably wasn't enough people. Oh no, they sold out those hoes. Um, let me see. Old. Old. Um, yeah. So, Dr. Jim the says. The only one that I see out of these that she had was the villain one I just sent you. Oh, okay. Um, like, I know she has them all, though. Dr. Jim says the Farmania conversion is looking on point. Uh, it depends on who you get that casted it. Because there have been some bad ones. I regret, I regret trading mine. That was the dumbest decision I ever made. <laughs> uh, which one did you have? I forget. It it was a super G, but it was the very first run, so the oh. cast was the cast was actually impeccable. So I traded I traded it with Justin, which is not which is not worth it. And now it's just collecting dust. I think he sold it actually. Oh. Pretty sure he sold it. Um, holy shit. There's a P Bandai Hyper Mega Bazooka launcher for the new Gundam, High Nave RG, RG, RG. That is a big bastard, even for RG. Oh, they make Wizard of Oz ones. Oh, they make oh, Winnie the Pooh one. Shit. Well, I'm screwed. Why? Because all you can do is not tell Heidi, Dave. This, this is true. This do. is true. And just don't tell her, and then I Dave, won't go into that. No. <laughs> Look, me and Heidi are going to be great friends, okay? <laughs> like, if you want, you can message her on Facebook. <laughs> it, it shouldn't be, be easy like, to... Heidi, <laughs> you don't know me, but uh, here's some Disney shit. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm not, I'm not a Nigerian prince. I'm not trying to steal your social security number. I don't, I don't actually need money. I'm here to give you ways to spend yours. <laughs> <laughs> it, I don't know the sound much better, but... <laughs> but... It's things that you'd like. <laughs> I can already tell Dave. Um, was it she ended up finding that her mom, she ended up getting it. I don't even know if she knew that her mom had them and been saving for her. Um, all of the original Barbie Wizard of Oz um, figures still in the box. Um, oh wow so they are up in her so she has dorothy and scarecrow and and all of them um i ended up getting her the uh um the hot toys <sighs> fuck um damn it what was her name um angelina jolie played her with the wings. Um, oh, Maleficent. Yeah. So I ended up getting her original Hot Toys Maleficent, um, which is still sealed in the box in the closet. And we'll stay there until we actually have a house that I can set up a proper like Disney um, showcase and stuff. Come on, your case. Yeah. My goal is to get all of these Jim Shore. I, has she ever heard of Jim Shore? Uh, I don't know if she has, but I have. So he has a massive Disney collection, right? Well, I have like a deep, deep rooted obsession with Princess Tiana. Mm -hmm. She's my favorite princess of all time. And I found out that he has four so far of Princess Tiana specific uh, statues. So those are these are all on my list to get <laughs> like they're just sitting in my Amazon card because I will eventually buy them 
Who'd have thought? Yeah, Lexi who has have? an obsession with Disney princesses. Who'd have thought, guys? <laughs> who would have thought? You know thought? what? You can uh, go fuck right on up, all mm -hmm. right? With uh, all your walnuts. Okay? Thanks. I'm just saying, okay, you know. Goldfish still suck. Yep. Well, <laughs> Lexi has hijacked the Gunpla Network that doesn't do anything podcast, okay? And she is turning this into the Disney podcast. Hold on, um, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. John brought up Disney first, not me. Hold on, hold on. So Raz donated a dollar. Hope you're doing good, Dave. Uh, nice to have a stream going and background uh, while paint, uh, as I'm getting some painting done. Unlike you. Thank you Ouch. for the dollar to make me feel like shit. Thank you. <laughs> Rubbing salt into the wound. It is, it is appreciated though. I, I can't say shit about it. Yeah, I can't, I can't say shit about it. Because now, even though they said he's painted something, he hasn't actually finished painting anything. This is true. This is true. <laughs> We're just moving the goalpost slightly further. <laughs> look at this point. Look at this point. I'm not painting stuff just so you guys have something to keep coming back and make fun of me about. Because as soon as I start painting stuff. You guys would be like, well, though, this isn't fun anymore. I mean, what are we going to fucking make fun of him about now? Don't kid yourself. We'll find a reason. But if that's what helps you sleep at night by saying that it's for us, by all means. <laughs> I mean, we'll fucking... still bring it up, Dave. We'll be like, hey, Dave, you remember that time that you didn't paint? Yeah, that was like, what, 10 years of your life? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just, you guys just like get together and go, let's see. You know what? what how can we make even Lexi's getting in on it? Like, how can we make Dave feel like shit tonight? Oh, I know. Let's do, let's do this. Let's say this. Yeah, that's perfect. You want to feel Lexi? You want to make Lexi feel like shit? No, 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 no. Dave, you want to make Lexi feel like shit? No, 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 no. Tell her her tan. Tell her her tan isn't natural. That it's from a tanning booth. You could try, no, but I'm. Send her things. Wait, what? Just send her things. Oh. No. It doesn't matter what it is, Dave. Just send her things. Yes. No, don't. I oh, God, no. I seem to have gotten an SOS this afternoon from from people going, Hey, this seems to really annoy her. Let's do it more. No, no, no. Don't. I'm, that's it. I'm moving and I'm switching my address. It doesn't matter. Santa Claus will find you. Nope, I am changing my name and fleeing the country. I will start up a new life somewhere in Brazil, running a tourist shop on the beach. Why can't you accept people being nice to you? I don't know what to do with it, and I'd, <laughs> I'd rather just get yelled at. <laughs> like, so, okay, uh, so I'm about to tear into you. So, oh, God. So, oh God. <laughs> for <laughs> weeks, you ripped on Leon. <laughs> about how he had to be accepting of people actually giving a fuck about him. By the way, I haven't had enough to drink tonight uh, and I might as well throw another one down that way I have an excuse for what I'm about to say. Oh, you no, ripped on him. You ripped on him for weeks about how he needs to open up and he needs to let people actually care about him and people actually care about him and go no don't fuck you i'm a man i'm a man's man i, I i'm a man's man man like there's no mm -mm, mm -mm. and you finally right. broke you finally broke through the fourth wall and now you're playing the game uh, i'm not playing the game i'm like by all means i just say don't say, like don't send me shit yeah, well, i'm accepting I accept the no. love and affection you send. You yeah, but give you're me. not accepting because to some people that is love and affection. And it's something that you can hold and tr and touch and and cherish. And God damn, what the Bungle. fuck happened to my hair? Stroked. Look, look at this shit. I'm starting to look like a fucking fraggle. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm starting to look like a fucking fraggle. What the hell? Oh God. Hi, Djibouti. Get some headphones. I'm gonna send you more shit, Lexi, and I'm gonna send it to you, and you're gonna get it. All of it. No, 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 no! Send me nothing. <laughs> nothing at John. all. Hello, everyone. Hello, chat. Hi. Hello. Hi. I will give you money, John, if you send Lexi something. I will give you no. money to send her something. No, no, that is, no, that is part of the rules. You cannot do that. I'm not sending. I'm not sending no, you anything, no. Lexi. I'm giving him a small commission. Okay? 
That is cheating, and that is a loophole, and we don't know how to have Loophole, those. loophole, especially if he doesn't pay until September. No! Wait, why September? Uh, okay, so... Is that a birthday, birthday? Add? Is that a birthday month or something? No. no. So... Oh, okay. So he sent her some model stuff and so forth. And she goes, no, you can't send me any more stuff. He goes, fine. I won't send you anything else until September. She's like, fine, fine. That's the only way that I'll accept this stuff. Except uh, the, cu the cut off. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ex had except about five minutes before he said time. that he had a whole bunch of stuff in his cart and he just said hit bye. So, so yeah, she's screwed. Loophole. Loophole. There is no loophole. I literally, we pushed it on purpose until September, because at the time it was May. Accept it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like anybody's roofing you or molesting you. They're just trying to send you stuff. Most women are like, most women are like, oh, please, I'll take stuff. What's up, Renee? <sighs> Mm, someone sent me a kit and some tools. I'm so sad. Yeah, wouldn't it be faster for you to send it to Dave who's gonna send her shit anyways? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, well, no. John, I'm just trying to get include you on, in on this, okay? Oh, I'm, no. I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm willing to just be a, a, a bystander in this whole, this whole sh train wreck going on. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you. David, John. Thank you, John. Dave, that means you have to send twice as many things. In, no! in, in the meantime, wait, 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 wait. In the meantime, John's just sitting here in the background, sending her links to like Princess Tiana stuff and more. <laughs> See, I don't care if I buy it. If I buy it, fine. That was my decision. I bought it. Oh, wouldn't it suck if someone sent you a bunch of money to your Amazon account? Oh. Yeah, but God, thank God that's not a thing that can happen. Or someone sent you like Amazon gift cards. Oh, that would no, suck. No, 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 no. But then you'd be buying it with your own money because yeah. it would be on the gift card. It wouldn't be my money because somebody gave me that money. But it is your money at the point where you accepted the money. Therefore, it's your money at that point. It wouldn't be my money. It would be your money because it you would have accepted be. the money, therefore it becomes your money. But I didn't mm. accept the money, so therefore it isn't my money because I did not accept the money. Well, technically, if if it's in an unmarked envelope from like someone that you just and then once you open it, then you know it, it's open, it's yours. Money in an unmarked envelope. What am I, a hitman? I found, <laughs> I found a loophole, guys. We don't. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think that's beyond a loophole. We don't. Loophole. Look, Ra Raz says, "Silly Lexi, I'd be going nuts if someone sent me Amazon gift cards." <laughs> Look, <laughs> don't question it. It's deep rooted trauma. It's fine. <laughs> Michelle said, "Sending Silly you." Lexi. <laughs> Michelle says, "Sending you roofies." Um, <laughs> what if we don't s actually send her anything? What if we just mail everything to Otis? Oh. No. Oh. Just just throw, just then I can cat. join oh, in. Yeah. You can just get into the app. What the world? That's not legal. Ah. How the hell the cat can order stuff? Uh, it does. <laughs> How is that not legal? People it's leave. People just leave money. Claiming their pets on their income tax. Then they get hit. But people leave money in their estates to their pets all the time. That's different. All right, so they're just sending the cat no, money and that. gifts. No. They're not claiming the cat. They're <laughs> cats and income tax returns. I don't understand that. How is that possible? This is different. I'm not claiming, I promise, I'm not claiming Otis on my income tax. I know you're no. not claiming Otis, but you know, Hey, one of my friends, he, he turned around and did a domestic violence on his wife. One of my friends shot her in the head. What the hell? There's well, a there's a difference real between... There, that yeah. escalated real fast. There, there's <laughs> a difference between... He wrote the letter to her trying, and, and the dog's name. The dog's name was Joey. What the hell? <laughs> 
He tried to blame the dog. I'm so confused. You know, I was like, all of a sudden we're talking about sending the cat things, and the next thing we know, someone's <laughs> killing somebody. I'm like, no, we're not. We're not promoting violence here. Seriously, YouTube. We're just, we're just promoting gift giving and charity and Listen, and. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Uh, what if we send catnip to Lexi, but then we send all the model kit tools and stuff to Otis? Oh my God, that would be awesome. That's some funny stuff right there. Oh my God. <laughs> Do not send my cat things. <laughs> the postman. What, can I send you catnip, Lexi? You want to send me catnip? That is fine. You can send me catnip. They're gonna think it's drugs, but you can send me catnip. Okay. So I can send you catnip, and then I can send all the stuff that I want to send you to Otis. You can't send it to Otis. The so, postman will have no idea who that is. No. Wait. It's Otis. Wait. Technically. Wait. You can send catnip to Otis and just put her stuff in the box with the catnip. So Raz says, "I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I found your channel. I'd be missing this if I didn't." Yes. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> let's see here. Michelle says, Ru uh, "Must be roofies and bribes." Uh, it's, so. Technically, because I've done this, we can send things to Otis the cat in care of Lexi. That's true. That's legit. Mm. Oh my god. And it will no. get delivered. Legit. That is legit. Loophole. There we go. Be no loophole. Loophole. I'm gonna ban all of you until September. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gonna be just Leon. September is such a just random date to choose. It's a random month to choose though. Like, like what's so special about September? Because it and was there three really months. There really was no special. It was just like th it was three months. She like, was mad I, at him. She was mad at him and said, "You have to wait three months." Yeah. It was a three month window. Like, damn it, you have to wait three months before you do anything else. Be an asshole. So, so he promised he would. And it's like the end of September, and her birthday is in October. My birthday is in December. What? Okay, yeah. I'm rounded. Okay, whatever. Speaking <laughs> of, speaking of that, wait till this. Speaking of that, wait till Christmas comes. Oh my God. Um, actually, no, because my birthday is after Christmas, so. That doesn't matter. It does not matter. There are the twelve days of Christmas. That's what it is. December thirtieth. Boom. <laughs> someone, unlike someone wait, else wait, that's in this wait. chat has it in their calendar actually so they get a reminder 30 days and then two weeks prior someone might want to do that leon everyone in chat write down december 30th okay we're no! all gonna send lexi thing us on no! december 30th we're calling it ragnarok <laughs> um, excuse me, I'm moving and I'm changing my address and my name. We're having a happy birthday, Lexi, stream on December 30th. Oh my god, no. Wait, if there's any what rich does that people out there, I want you to hire planes, okay, to say happy birthday, Lexi, in the sky. Sky riders. Hold on. Okay? Hold on. Uh, December, so, wait, uh, December you know, 30th. You need to drive more hours. That's all I'm hearing right now. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, I do need more hours. For those in chat that are seeing the, the the because some of you can't just to prove i actually have her her birthday right there lexi's birthday december 30th oh my gosh oh my god and i have the day off after that for new year's oh wow oh. wow mm -hmm. that is true it is new year's so usually i don't really well i mean i don't really celebrate my birthday anyway it's right after the holidays and everybody's usually gone Someone can afford to drive over and celebrate. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Santa? Yeah. Dave. Dave. You're going to drive over there, aren't you? Well, first of all, I, I don't... I someone else's name, but... Yeah, I, I guess that's that what works. I was expecting to, yeah. <clears throat> I'm uh, pretty sure it's Dave, honestly. So, someone just pushed away responsibility. <laughs> Real fast. They just pushed away the chair, like, um, yeah. I don't know what I'll chair y'all are talking about, okay? I don't sit on chairs. I sit on... Truck seats. Okay. Be like, <laughs> Leon's like, um, yeah, no, that's a work day. Uh, I can't take that day off. What's a work day? Uh, a Thursday. Uh, every day of your life? Yeah. 
every day where you're breathing apparently oh well that's just uh, that's not a well i mean it's about to be seven days i'm about to work seven days now. why so think about that because he's dumb but it's for a good reason it's because it's because someone can't make the flight there so you have to send someone else over <laughs> so i'll have saturday and sunday that i'll be working in the office doing the dispatching for my company Ooh, you're gonna be but an office be bitch half days. okay yeah it'll be half days so i'll only be there for like five hours okay for saturday and sunday which means we may end up having to shift time around for that monster hunter thing eventually whenever the fuck this happens okay but uh yeah it's kind of like a promotion and a step in getting ahead i guess okay cool i mean it was that or sucky dick so uh okay i <laughs> i i mean if i can make 80k a year and just sit in an office the whole time that's not too bad of a deal i guess i'll kind of miss the work though i mean 80k a year i'll suck dick every day i don't care like <laughs> he does don't kid yourself he is oh yeah i'm sucking yours right now dave <laughs> <laughs> I was, style. I was wondering who was using teeth right now. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Straight out of the movie, teeth, okay? Oh, Jennifer's body, here we go. Uh, Raz says, hmm, something to, look for, uh, to actually look forward to in December. Yes. Uh, Chris Jones <laughs> oh, says, it's no. a Thursday. Michelle's laughing her ass off. It is always something interesting around here. Yeah, we will. I'm serious. I'm doing this. I will do a stream on that Thursday uh, to no! celebrate your birthday. Well, actually, and that's a regular Thursday stream. So that would be a regular stream. Unless for the only way I would not do a stream on that is somehow Heidi managed to book a fucking cruise and we, went, we were on a cruise that period of time. And even then, I could stream from my phone, so... You start start praying to Lexi. Dave, here's what we're gonna do, okay? If Heidi manages to schedule a cruise, okay, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna fly out to your house, okay? And then I'm gonna do the stream on your computer. Okay. And pretend I'm you. And right. I'll just, like, add some extra wrinkles to my face, you know, put on a a partially blonde wig um you know try to get some more belly fat in me you know try to dab okay. on it up okay so so first of all you need to gain some weight second of all really you <laughs> fucking piece of shit <sighs> if she does book it where are you guys going Probably New Mexico. That's usually the cheapest one. Hey. You should go to Margaritaville. Uh. Can you do that in Florida? Yeah. Ugh. I don't know where Margaritaville is. There's one in Florida. Ah. Wow. You're so cultured. I know. I actually read. Wow. Ah. You can read? Oh my god. Uh, I know. Read. Watch out, boys. I'm actually literate. Sorry. <laughs> Raz says, Raz, seriously, like, you owe me another dollar for that comment. Raz says, if he takes over for Dave, he can't do any painting or he'd be breaking character. It's okay. They don't yeah. either, so they're actually a perfect match. For that, you owe me a dollar, you piece of crap. I'll just prime You'd be no different from neck. Robert Downey Jr. playing okay. Iron Man. Yeah. Oh. When you, I'd probably have my hands full because I'd have to prime every single freaking kit that Dave has just lying there with its nude resin form. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough time. Uh, speaking of, I have to let the cat out and I have to let myself out. I will be right back. So you guys have a blast just talking crap about me because I know what that's what you'll do. And um, I'm going to be looking at my phone trying to figure out what all I can send Lexi. No! <laughs> Especially since I have your address. No, I'm telling you, I'm moving. Send Lexi, stop. Send I'm Lexi, stop. moving. I'm changing my Can't name. Can't hear you. I'm I'm gonna die and get a new identity and move to the Bahamas and start life as a fruit salesman. That's a interesting you know, choice. 
Lexi, he was he can't hear you over the sound of the dollar bills I fluttering in hate, his wallet. I hate you. So what you're saying is he's bribed. <laughs> Heavily bribed. I hate all of you. Shit, that's rough. Yeah, I'm uh, by, shitty bystanders. Shit. Yeah, I didn't do Don's shit. Here. <laughs> I just been existing over here. John, what now you have to figure out she hates you. No, no, nobody needs that. It's very much Stockholm Center. Why would I? Why would I send any anything to anyone that doesn't like me? That's a waste of money. It's a waste of my money. <laughs> well, you gotta Thank fuel you, the hatred, John. You gotta fuel the hatred. Okay, yeah, make it I more powerful. My favorite person now. Our goal is to turn this girl into a Sith Lord, John. Okay. I don't think you're doing a very good job of it. No, no. Let the hate grow through person. you. He doesn't send me anything. He is my favorite person. Oh, you're gonna hate me. I already do. Well, there you go. You are becoming a Sith Lord. Congratulations. No, it's, she's becoming my bipolar. She can't make her mind up. She wants to hate or like someone. Look, I'm stuck in the middle, okay? Don't worry. Djibouti's the next victim. Yeah, why are you going to Djibouti? Huh? He's the next yeah, victim. He He's next Djibouti. on the chopping block. I like how like Djibouti is like very confused now. Djibouti should be your victim and go after him. Well, there's this kit know. that Djibouti wants that's on pre order for December. On me. Cause it's your well, fault? I'm just saying. There's this kit that's on pre order for December that Djibouti <laughs> wants. And, uh. I don't know what you're talking I'm about. Be, I'm gonna become the Empire and strike back, okay? I say do it. Go after Djibouti. Come in December? No. I'm just you're first, you? okay? No, no. I don't need to be first. I can be last. Go after Djibouti. No, no, no. You're first. No, no. Go after Djibouti. No, March is November. What the hell is December? Shit. That's like a big too. kit. It's uh, the one with the big armor on it that comes off and there's a Gundam underneath that's the, that's it. That's November. You're off by a whole month. That's what? That's November. Oh, is that November? That's November. Okay, that's close enough. I know, for someone that rounds, rounds by whole quarters. I was gonna say, my birthday's in October, remember? Yeah, I rounded, John. It's okay. This is just darn right crafty. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Look at that craftiness. I'm getting unsolicited photos of like crappy shit. I don't approve. Ugh. Banana dogs. Okay, They're so. so pear juice. So I have determined. <laughs> But done in bananas, so they're banana wiener dogs. They're so, so cute. Good. I'm so confused. And why are they being peeled from the head? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't That's ask those questions. So I have determined that uh, my wife is supporting all the TikTokers for the last week. Hell yeah. Because she watches so many freaking videos. I waste my life on that. No shame. I don't think I've ever used TikTok. Um, that's not true. I sent you the video. You didn't know how to use it, but I did send it to you. <laughs> My friend sent me a video of this this girl band pl playing anime songs. And all she could do was scream, That drummer's thighs! Let, let her squish my face in them. Oh my God. <laughs> TikTok's weird. I don't get it. It's because you're an old, grumpy old man. It's like for people with zero attention span. Yeah, it's basically what perfect. TikTok is. Pretty much. It's but amazing. Some the, but some of the stuff is cute. Like, a Heidi, I just had Heidi forward a video to me. She showed me while I was downstairs. And it's basically a couple people in those, um, like, the bubble samurai suits. Like, the bubble suits. Except they're in a bull ring. 
and they're running at a bull and a fucking bull hits one of them and they go flying like 30 feet in the air and back. I was like, oh my god, I want to do that. I approve, John. But if we're if we're sending stuff, then uh here we go. Wait, 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 wait. What did you just do, Lexi? What do you mean? I heard Lexi say she wants us to send her stuff. No! Hey. I'm gonna throw walnuts at you. An interesting thing to choose to throw at people. I know. Not very effective at causing harm. I mean... That's what you think. You just... Have you ever been hit with a walnut? Yeah, I have. There are much more unpleasant things to get hit with, by the way. <laughs> Probably, but a walnut is enough that it'll hurt and it'll be annoying. And I will repeatedly throw them with accuracy. I mean, huh. I'd rather just be threatening them. There. I'd rather just be yeah, threatening them. Yeah. I'm gonna th throw dirty chonies at you. Ooh. Djibouti, I'm, I'm gonna throw something at you! <laughs> I'm throwing things at you! I'm physically going to cause you harm! Yeah, the problem with TikTok is it has a really smart ag algorithm for figuring out what you like. Uh -huh. And so it keeps on showing you stuff that you like. So once you once you put in like 10 videos in, it's pretty damn good at figuring out what you want to watch. <laughs> it's true. And then every once in a while, it'll throw something random in there and you're like, oh, just kidding. I want to watch this. <laughs> oh, wow. Jody sent a package. It cost twelve ninety eight to Lexi. No! Oh, wow. <laughs> Michelle says, I can't afford another time suck. And uh, she asked Lexi, shelled or unshelled walnuts? With a laughy face. Shelled? That way something else can pop out. The harder it'll hit. And what the hell? Man, what, what the hell are you doing? Like trying to set world records of pitch in the snap to break up a walnut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm using Leon to do it. Leon and Djibouti. Wow. I do have to say though, some things Amazon has are like really cute. Oh um, yeah, like what? I have this flower that glows and I'm obsessed with it. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's by far the coolest thing ever. Like, Dave, it's under a flower that glows room. in the dark. Huh? Huh? What? Nothing. Are you talking shit about my flower? Because I'll hurt you. No, I. Yeah, he no, was I definitely talking shit about your flower. You a flower. No, no obli. He was definitely talking shit about your flower. No obli glass. Okay, there were four people talking at me at once. That was the point. It's okay. We're we're training you to multitask. One step at a time. All I know is that John was agreeing, saying you were talking shit. Wait, 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 wait. I'm highly confused. Are you or are you not Hispanic? Me. Yes. Yeah, I'm brown. Okay. Well, yeah, she doesn't confirm that she's Hispanic. She's like, yeah, I'm brown. Like, <laughs> I'm Mexican. Okay, so you should be used to hearing multiple voices at the same time and being able to differ uh, differentiate between which one's yelling at you and which one's just talking smack. Like, okay, well, I know it's John, and then I know that Leon kept telling me something about the flower, but it was coinciding with what you were telling me about mm. the flower, so you guys were actually canceling each other out until the word flower came out. Gotcha. Okay. I mean... Dave Center, glow in the dark flower, go. So, so... No, I already have a glow in the dark flower. I don't need another one. You need a new one to cheat on. <laughs> no, this one's too pretty. So you say that till you see till you have, it has actual competition. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm actually gonna sh I will show you a picture of this flower. I mean, I'm just thinking like a glow in the dark flower vibrator. I mean, how can you top that? Um, oh. I wouldn't see a glow. Oh, you haven't shopped where I shop yet. That's that is you know what that's a fair statement. I <laughs> probably have not. Dave. What? Okay, what we're gonna do. We're gonna put LEDs in a tentacle, okay? And then we're gonna put a little vibrating motor in the tentacle, okay? Then we're gonna send it to her. Okay, so... Look at it! Look how pretty that thing is! 
There's no competition with that thing. Technically, I can uh, I can make all of that happen. I have the tentacle, I have the lights, and I have the vibrator. No, we're uh, not putting lights in a tentacle or in a vibrator. <laughs> Why are you sending me this? Because it makes you squeal like a girl. I don't know if you've noticed, I am a girl. Yes, I know. Oh, really? What? I want you to I've been deceived. You. <laughs> I will hurt you in the ways that you will not expect. Oh, don't I'll tease. I'll make that shit lasting. Don't tease me. Like, please, really. It's been so long. <laughs> I've heard worse from people that we both know. I've heard worse from people we both know. Okay. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll make Buffalo that Bill. Oh okay. my god. I hate you. Okay? I hate you. <laughs> You will be putting the lotion in the basket. In the basket? But not on yeah. the skin? <laughs> no, because he's got to put it in the lotion. He's got to put it on the skin or it gets the hose again, and then he has to put it back in the basket. I can't stop staring at this thing now. I turned it on, and now I'm just like a moth. Don't go extinct. Too yeah. late. <laughs> I mean, Carry I figured, in. But had to pet it with the warning regardless. Don't go into the light, Carry in. <laughs> it's too late. I'm convinced Lexi there. is actually a crow. You could just put little shiny things all throughout the house. She'd be like, ooh, a shiny. Ooh, a shiny. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny if I'm like this. <laughs> I'm just going to put little pieces of tin foil around her house, you know? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> look like a cat. Michelle says, Michelle says, love it. Whole milk back from eating as usual. Uh, let's see here. Whole milk, me Mexican and don't have ability to hear multiple people at the same time. Look, I work with a bunch of Hispanic people and I have learned to be able to figure out who's talking shit about me and who's just talking shit all while all six of them are talking at the same time. Like that has saved yeah, my life multiple times. They're always talking shit. This is true. This is true. And then they know how to get to me. All someone has to say is tacos. And I'm like, what? Then there's, then there's the little old lady one that we work with that feeds me every day. She always, she always brings me something for lunch. I wonder if I could put this on a rolly. Oh, the, the old Mexican ladies. Yeah. God love her. Uh, let's see here. Uh, legato. Hey, how's it going? Time for an oldie but goodie. There was a tentacle. Uh, there was a tentacle uh, hentai anime movie that came out in 1997 called Spy of Darkness. Basically, take Charlie Lee's Angels Hit Squad with tentacles. Sounds terrible and amazing all at once. And Whole Milk says, "I'm the rare exception because I have the brain of a monkey." I would not have put that out there because now that's ammunition. But okay. All right, technically we all have lizard brains, so it's fine. When lizard people rule the world. Ba -da -da. I kind of want to turn off the light so I can sit here in the dark with this flower, but then I'd just be sitting in the dark. But you'd be talking to us with a flower. So that'd be this okay. Is true. But she might think that the flower's talking to her, which is slightly concerning. Well,. If she's been eating the cat's catnip, yeah, that, that is a possibility, so. You know, I try to actively avoid doing hard drugs. Look. Otis, on the other hand, rolls around in it. Does your cats roll around in theirs? <sighs> yes, in fact, Heidi put some in. They have these, like, round poofy beds, and they were until like one o'clock last night grooming the fucking bed trying to get every last little freaking morsel out of there he doesn't like eat it i mean he snorted it once like a line like uh just a chain just snorted that for row but then nowadays he just like rolls around in it but he doesn't he doesn't really do much yeah no my cats they they eat it like fucking crack and in fact one will try and tear your hand off to get the lid off the container 
does do that with me. He'll fight me for the bag, but then once, like, if I leave, like, if I'll just give him the bag, he doesn't do anything with it. Uh, yeah, no, not mine. So I'm like, I think you're just fighting me to fight me. Oh, that could be. It's been a real pain lately. He's waking me up at 7 a.m. Yeah, that's or no point. It's gross. I mean, so like, man, I unless what, until late. I was gonna say, what time are you supposed to be up? Is he actually doing you a favor, and you're just mad at him for doing you a favor? No, usually I don't have to get up till like 7:45, 7:55 if I'm pushing it. Mm -hmm. We gotta beat him before you leave, though. So he's just trying to—he's trying to be safe. Make sure he no, gets, no, he gets I. That. I feed him. He doesn't have like a set feeding time. I just pour a whole thing out into his bowl and then it takes him like two to three days to go through it. See, my so cat. What you're saying is he's just like any other cat. He's just an asshole. <laughs> yeah, pretty freaking much. And he'll yell. And his thing is, is that he will do it all to wake you up and then he will go back to sleep. That just sounds like a woman. Jesus. I I'm raised him. I really have. He's so dramatic, too. He yells. He will yell until he hears you looking at him. And yes, you heard me right. <laughs> oh, how many times have I heard that? Until he hears you looking at him. <laughs> and then he'll stop. And then he'll come out from wherever hole he is. And he'll stop yelling. <laughs> How many times have I heard that damn line? They're so dramatic. It's because you are dramatic. Have you met you? <laughs> no. You're dramatic. You're dramatic. You're a drama You're dramatic. Mama. And I can just picture him now. Uh, he's going to get fired within the first weekend of him being a dispatcher. I can already, <laughs> I can already foresee this. Nah, just rub the nip, rub my nipples in the office and behind from closed doors, you know. No, you'll it's no, okay. no. I know you too oh, well. God. You're an HR nightmare waiting to happen. You you will be the one. What the fuck do you mean you're lost? You're literally a block away from your stop. Look at your GPS, you stupid son of a. Okay, now that <clears throat> that I can see happening. Yeah. And then him going. I think I'm actually going to help those people. <laughs> and then him going, do I need to get in my car and drive over there and park your truck for you? Like, seriously? <laughs> I might you have to some of these have people. <laughs> the glass jar tingles. There's this one girl named Sherry at my job. Somehow she managed to rip off a door on the back of a trailer. Oh God. Not once, but twice. <laughs> oh, isn't it because she keeps hitting it on something? Because uh, she's dumb. I've never ripped a door off of a trailer once. And I'm brand new to truck driving. Okay, but are you really brand new to truck driving? I mean, I haven't even completed a year. No. Yeah, but you've driven other trucks. Box trucks, but that's not a truck. Yeah, but no, it's still considered a truck. I mean, technically, but we didn't even have the same style doors. The, the point is that you haven't done what this person has done. Yeah. I don't even know how you do that. How do you rip off a door? Not pay attention. Uh, I'm well, sure I, mean, I can obviously. do it. I got stuck behind a truck. I wouldn't let you run up and pull off with a freaking door. Okay? Oh. <laughs> you give me keys and put me behind the <laughs> You're a terrible decision. Well, you don't even have a CDL. Well, technically you give any <laughs> woman a license. Part. That could be a bad decision. I could probably drive it from point A to point B. And I don't know what how many pieces it would be by the time I got there, <laughs> but I could do. 
See, at least she has confidence. <laughs> as long as you don't have to pull vehicle. a parking, it'd be fine. Oh yeah, parallel parking in a semi is very fun. I can't parallel park my Jeep, so... <laughs> Get one of those cars that parallel parks for you. I have thought about it, but then I'm like, do I really want to be outsmarted by a car? If it makes your life easier, yeah. Um, it's on my list of things to learn how to do to parallel park correctly, and then to learn how to drive a stick. Both very easy. And for somebody who's already done it, I'm sure. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I mean, if I can parallel park a semi, I'm pretty sure you can parallel park a car. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know how I got my driver's license the first time I took the test. I think she just gave it to me because it was my birthday. Is this something you like, really want to be admitting out loud? I don't care. I. It's been <laughs> 10 years. It's literally been 10 years. I don't care. She's like, they can't take it away now. They can't. And it's because I missed the, it was literally the parallel parking. I was like off by seven inches or something. I didn't hit anything. I just wasn't. I mean, parallel parking isn't a necessary skill because as long as you just choose not, not to park where there's parallel parking, you're, you're good. And I've avoided parallel parking for 10 years. Yeah, I, I can tell. Is it? Mm-hmm. But I can reverse park better in my Jeep than I could in my other car. That's good. And but I've never been into an accident except once when I was 16 and it wasn't my fault. Yeah, can't say that. Too many, too, too many people hit me in LA. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know if I would ever drive in LA. Where would you even park in LA? There's nowhere to park. There is places to park. Yeah, you just... It's just a matter of how, it's a matter of how far you want to walk. <laughs> and then sometimes you just have to be smarter than the other people. You have to look around the corners that people aren't looking. <clears throat> well, I mean, if you're Dave, you can just park anywhere and then take your scooter with you and then drive your scooter to wherever you want to go. You could. As long as there's not a curb next to where he's parking. Fuck you, Djibouti! <laughs> we were doing so well. I was trusting you. Uh, that was your I, own fault. I couldn't help it. I mean, you definitely. I mean, I don't know why you trusted your booty of anything. For real. <laughs> Credibility bar is really far low. That's on you. One's on me. Uh. <laughs> Are we doing a Mario Brothers theme? No. Oh, okay. I just have a weird tune in my head. I was going to say, because that really sounds like the Mario Brothers theme. <laughs> do, do, do. You know, I heard somebody do the Star Wars theme song on bagpipes once, and it was pretty fucking amazing. I mean, it really comes down to where you're parking in LA, though, Michelle. Especially like when, like you don't you don't park in K Town on a Friday night. It's gonna suck. What's K Town? Korea Town. Hmm. Yeah, no, 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 it, no, no, I will mute your ass if you're humming fucking Star Wars themes because I will get my fucking flag channel flagged. 
Mo. Sorry. <laughs> you can't even fucking joke about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally like heard of channels like getting fucking copyright strikes for like something that even sounds similar to Star Wars. Like, really? That's kind of crazy. Is he talking? Yes. It yeah. Sounds like yeah. I. Away deep yeah. I. I, okay. I moved away from my mic because I was trying to. I was drilling something that was on the floor. <laughs> That's where I had to put the main body. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Mm. That's concerning. I don't recognize this piece at all. John, I may have asked this question before, but I'm retarded and I forgot if you ever told me the answer. Model Bingo, any good? They're they're all right. They're all right. I mean, they're mostly for. I mean, you're, you're if you're buying from them, it's because they're they have a design you want that they don't no one else has made. Yeah. That's pretty much what it is. I haven't heard I haven't heard anything bad about their cast, but they are, from what I've seen, they're not the most straightforward of resin kits, especially the conversions. Okay, it was like a dual gun that I saw in uh, GKM that looked pretty cool. Dual? Let me check. It should be fine. Just expect a lot of work. Okay. I know their God Gundam kit was really popular. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of work because it uses like a bionicle frame or some shit as a base. Oh. Oh yeah, uh, someone was telling me about that. They got that and they really liked how it went together. I heard that. I heard nothing but good things about that kit. I ever heard about the duel, but I mean, it does look good. It also looks like a fuck kind of shit to mask, though. <laughs> yeah. Very much buy and wait, buy and throw him back on and check it out later. I mean, it's not expensive though. It's definitely it's definitely one of the cheaper resin kits for originals by far. Does a good Hazen play? Which one? The the, the name is like broad. The, the name is very broad for what you're asking for. I think that was like the Hazen play is raw too. That I saw. That looked cool. Just get the just get the Bandai one. If you're not getting the Reckless one, then the only other choice would be the Bandai one. Okay. I just like I, the design of it, I guess. Which I won't blame you, but I, there's like literally only like one resin I'm aware of that exists of that kit, which is the like Reckless in 144. Mm. Oh, I was hoping for a 1 in 100. I mean, the kit is basically 1 100 size. Okay. It's huge. The only reason you can tell the high grade, the high the 144 scale, is because the that's because the head and the hands. Mm -hmm. I had to do that before I do this. What are you working on, Dave? Uh, throwing a pin in this waist section so that it stops tilting. Back and forth, or actually, probably a couple. Oh. Kids. 
What kit are you working on, Dave? The uh, 160 scale Sosby. That's me. Ah, that is okay. Bitch. Still working on it. I'm proud of you, buddy. You're moving up in the world. Well, everyone keeps giving me crap, and well, not so much crap. Like, I don't even want to say crap. I think people are giving me enough. I guess crap, but just to fucking get it finished. Yeah, well, don't let that kid tell you who can and can't build it. So, you tell that kid, I'm a man. So I've kind of put everything else on the back burner to the side. So that this is pretty much the only thing in my line of sight. Not until Dave Lee Shipment comes in. Hey, those are statues. Those will get unboxed and then put in a shelf. So, technically, those are okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's one. <clears throat> and. Brass rod, there you are. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Legado so says, good. at one point, I owned the Model Bingo uh, Blue Duel Gundam conversion kit and then sold it. Lost interest in working on it. Uh, Bandai makes uh, his Anthony Raw. Uh, Legado says, for lore reference, the Hizinthi, uh was the prototype used for the construction of Messiah. Kibinthi. Uh, featured. Featured in Zeta. Um, there's the v -fin. Holy shit, I forgot I was doing that. Blowing up, blowing me up with fucking TikToks, trying to ruin my life too. <sighs> so I will probably call it a night once I get these pins in this waste section. So you weren't on, John. I was kind of disappointed last night. Like, unless there's more story that ends up popping up later on. For what? Uh, Monster Hunter. For, for, for World? Yeah. Or is, is the Zora Magdros out to sea? Is, is that, like, the end of the actual, like, story campaign part? Uh, goes further than that, for sure. And that's still only like Iceborne. That's not even Iceborne, that's just World. Iceborne has like a whole other story tangent. So. Because what HR are you right now? <clears throat> what's uh, your, what's your, what's 11? Your... Uh, 11? You had 11? Yeah. Do you do a whole, do you do the whole Nergiganta stuff involved? Uh, which he, the Nergi, uh, fighting him on? Oh, that, afterwards. Uh, no. Have you been to Elder's Recess yet? No. Okay, then, then you're definitely not done the story. Oh, okay. Yep. I was going to say, because there's no more in the, uh, in the completion or the, that part. Now it's just kind of running around and doing master, uh, like master quest or master hunting down master. Sure. Right uh, stuff. That's, that's probably because the game is fast tracking you to, to get into Iceborne and uh, skip. The, it's basically was like okay you, you've done enough let's go to the, let's go to the next game oh okay wait that, that, is it master hunt after six or ma is it master, master, master ranks six after six seven plus? master ranks after seven okay maybe it's maybe it's six but it's all it's supposed to be the equivalent of g rank which is after seven in other games who the hell messaged me Um, yeah, Fender Quest. 
This is this is a tough one. I need I need I need to sleep on this one. Uh, Basically, you'll have to go to Elder's Recess and fight even more crazy fucking. Yeah, I caught that yeah, part. They, like they, they talk about story though. They talk about story. Yeah. I mean, just honestly, the Monster Hunter World doesn't have a very good doesn't have like a very good story. <clears throat> um, it's just sort of meant like oh, like there's like something weird going on. I mean, there's definitely more to the story, but I would never say like I would not expect like a typical like. Japanese RPG game like level of story. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, it's, yeah, not that... to, it's not meant to be deep, right? Like this game is like we're fighting for our survival, we're trying to figure out what's going on, blah blah blah, right? Gotcha. Um It's not like other games like where they're trying to like justify what they're doing. It's like, oh, you know, like we want to research it, so kill it. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I mean take they the did body it. parts off of it and put it on you. I mean, they do a better job than other games. Like, four, you had a, actually had a really good story, from what I recall. Um, Rise story is like super short, but at least it's like justified. Like, you're fighting to save your village, right? Yeah. From the monsters going crazy. So. Um. First of all, I was highly impressed with my fucking cat in the end. Like, I was like, you put in the work. You you were such a good cat. <laughs> when you're a good oh, cat. Um your your palico at the last part uh where you're shooting the cannons at uh trying to defend the wall from Nergagante. Oh, I just remember I just remember who the last boss is. Yeah, you're definitely not done the story, Dave. Okay. You you didn't you didn't fight something emerging from a crystal, right? No. Okay, no, you definitely didn't finish the story. No, no. Um, well, I can't I, wait. I, 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 I and I wasn't final story boss. And I, I wasn't sure, but I was like, okay, the way they're kind of leaving it is okay. Now it's just because everything's like either we can go on a hunt or we can go on expeditions. It's your choice. I'm like, okay, well, it kind of seems like story mode is over. And... I, I think that's. I think you hit the part where story wise, you have to you have to do a certain number of missions to unlock. The tracks for the other mo for the new monsters coming out. Yeah, that's one thing I do remember is uh, something about a new breed of Rathalon or Rathian or something like that. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's you about that. Tracks. There's but yeah, there like you'll fight you'll fight the I think sil silver Rathalus and like gold Rathian. Oh, okay. Or some shit, but um, the main thing is though that you have to like find the tracks for Elder Dragons. And oh, then okay, yeah. That unlocks like Nergigante and shit afterwards if you do that part. Um, but yeah, so I'm carrying over the cannonballs, and um, you know whoever was helping me was carrying over the cannonballs to the the cannon thing, and they were like, Are you playing multiplayer? No, 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 no. The the NPC. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, NPCs are actually useful in, this, in that in, in this one. I think it's like the first time NPCs were actually did anything besides just like watch you my fucking cat was running like all the way down the fucking boardwalk to where there was a pile of cannonballs and running all the way back <laughs> and fucking loading cannonballs in there so i was doing three shots at a time i was like you put in the work you go <laughs> yeah the only wait. thing with the cannonballs is like they had a weird bug it's like a really dumb bug where it's like if the cannonball is full and you're holding a cannonball you have to like drop it so that you can shoot it Oh yeah, yeah. So you like keep track of like all the NPCs and your cat and yourself, like putting cannons, at, cannonballs in the cannons, so you didn't like end up with like someone puts in the fifth one, you're stuck with a cannonball looking all stupid. Because <laughs> you only get a certain number of cannonballs, so right. like wasting a couple is really bad because they do the most damage. I'm so excited for Dave to fight fucking Nergigante one v one and to hear the rage that comes out of him. The the pure unbridled rage that comes out. It's going to be great. I've actually heard that he's not the hardest one. It's when you get into the... Into the, the harder hardest, ones. The hardest fight, I think, was like Teostra and Lunastra fighting them together. Nah, they're that not bad. In the ass. But Hemith is definitely, definitely one of the worst. Especially when you don't have Master Rank armor. Did you ever fight Cold Taroth, John? Yes. Easy as hell and also boring. Very boring. How is it? 
very boring. I never got a group to do Kolf Taroth. Well, you just you could just tug it. It's not hard. It's just a matter of the fact that you have to find someone to you have to find some group to do it multiple times with. Yeah. Didn't help that they made like a rotation monster. Like it wasn't like actively up. Like it rotate with something else. Mm -hmm. The one I didn't do was um, Saf Jiva, and then what was the other one? Uh, the very last one they did. Let me check. What did Ami Ami have? Because it had. Because it, it, they just did a figure of it, if I recall. That's what it was, Fatalis. They just. I didn't do Fatalis. And I was just sick of putting hours on, on PC at Iceborne when I already put too many hours on Ice, um, Iceborne on PS4. But it wasn't even Iceborne, I put too many hours on World, and I got really sick of it because there was like no monsters to hunt, so I got really fucking sick of that game. Yeah, the only one I've done since then was the new Pookie Pookie that was in the Wasteland. The water one? Yeah, which one, Yeah, which he wasn't bad. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what what was the other variant. They did Glavinus and Acid a Acidus Glavinus, which was like a new variant they did for Glavinus. Um What else did they add? They added another like, another variant of like a new bad thing. Wait, what bat thing? There was like a bat thing they added in Iceborne, I thought. I forget what it was called. Right, they added... Shrieking Legiana, That's, that was the new variant. I can't remember what was different about it, though. I love the Legiana armor. I think... I think it was still ice, but it just had like a slightly different attack pattern, so it wasn't like a straight up like different type of monster. But what is it not showing more? Probably easier if I just go look at ice spawn. Frostfang Baryoff, that wasn't it. Sidus Glavinus. Mm. Right, that's what it was. Nightshade Palolumu, that's that's what it was. Uh, so Chase Christian um, asked, uh, I've seen video your old videos about the High Noob. I haven't seen anything about this. How's the quality? Um, because it's an original, the quality is impeccable. Uh, there are spots that you're going to have to sand and stuff like that, which is is typical but it's a resin kit. yeah it's so a resin kit you but it. you can't avoid that um but otherwise uh yeah it's it's freaking awesome um let me see if i can do this i'm sorry you said it was a high new is it a high new or a high v Both. high new it's a high v <laughs> is it a high v i think it's a high v <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, have you been, what have you been teaching her? Definitely Leon. sure it's a high V. Don't worry about it, Dave. It's a meme. <laughs> okay. I'll explain it to you later. I mean, I'm wanting to make sure we're still talking about a robot and not of a JJ, so... I mean... Yeah! No, it's just called a high V instead of I knew. Okay. <laughs> So evidently, Leon's been, he has a Padawan that he's been teaching. Uh, okay, so I'm going to change. Don't worry, this. Dave, I'll explain it later. Okay, I'm not questioning, Jesus Christ. Don't worry, Dave. Calm, calm yourself. Alright, so, put the mic there. 
try not to smack it with my head. Okay. Ugh. I don't even know. Wait, am I out of the way? Wait, Japan. Oh my God, that's not even. That's not true. <laughs> the V is the Greek letter new. So they pronounce it high new. <laughs> I think I look this shit up. Look, I'll explain it. I we will show you this meme later, John. I promise. Uh, I I know, but someone is putting misinformation out there when it bothers the fuck out of me. Oh. <laughs> it's the high V for the rest of my life. It'll be high V. <sighs> okay. Don't worry. I'm not putting misinformation out there, John. It's a meme. Okay. It's a meme. It's a total meme. I'm gonna slap both of you when I see you. <laughs> I <actually laughs> slap both of you. Uh, it's fine. I accept it. A slap of love. Then he'll take <laughs> us out to dinner. And then make us pay for it. <laughs> no, he'll probably take you out, have you, f have you f feed everyone, pay for it, and then when you're too slow to get away, then slap the shit out of you. <laughs> okay so as this guy stands right now he is currently at 12 inches uh what have we done tonight we have if i can find well we broke the shoulder off i did not break the shoulder off that's that makes it sound worse than what i actually did we knocked his shoulder off uh, this part i just had so this part right here, we put magnets in here, we put a rod here, we put pins here, here, and here in the, this part. This of course is all magnetized in. This little plate moves down, um, but it's got a magnet in there. Line it up and it should just wiggle if I got it in the right hole. Did I get in the right hole? I don't think I got in the right hole. Get in the right hole. Damn it, not enough lube. Get in there. I just did your drive. Big boy, Dave. Big boy. I know. Uh, there. Alright, so that part locks down on there. So it still has some play, but you know, it's not going anywhere. Um this section here. Not epoxying together yet, so uh, so that does like that. That opens up, so technically you could get to the button to light it up, but I'm not putting in the wiring because I don't ever want to be able to replace it or replace the battery. Um, let's see, what else have we got uh, for the arms? This will be the true test, so. that yay no more leaning to one side when I only put the armor on one side and it's gonna snap on there uh, by the way all the arms are all like all these pieces are magnetized together like seriously if you have a pacemaker do not come near this this thing because you will probably die. <laughs> uh, where is the shell? A peacemaker, Dave? Pacemaker, you deaf some bitch. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a gun, man. Like the peacemaker. Actually, yeah. it is from Winona Earp. Make peace with your gods. Actually, that's what she does tell them. She says, make your peace before she shoots them in between the eyes. Hot. Actually, she is. Alright, I have to snap that onto there. Never mind, you said she's hot. I don't believe you. Oh no, she is hot. Definitely not hot. She is. I'll show you pictures. Oh no. She's learned from Djibouti. Now she's gonna start sending me porn. Oh god. No, I'm no. I'm gonna start ignoring everything she sends me. 
Just pictures of attractive women. Yep. Sounds like porn to me. Yeah, well... I guess. At least we can be pretty sure there's not a donkey or a midget or anything else like that involved. They're not 2D, they're not for me. Where are you? Come here, where are you? There we are. Oh, I didn't download the other one. That's rude. Yes, and I went far enough that even the armor on these pieces are magnetized. Yes, I know I'm gross. I can't yeah, you're help gross, it. Dave. Like this was this was my my master grandmaster magnet piece. And I will probably put pins in the arms just to prevent any nightmares from happening. Uh, you definitely won't put a pin in that arm, and especially at least the left arm. Why? Because of the fucking shield. No, no, in the shoulder. Yeah, I know. So you put a pin in the shoulder, so it supports the shield. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to put I'm going to put rods in in the shoulder pieces with the magnet, just as added support. Yes, I know. I, I don't even want to display it with the shield. Like, wait until tomorrow night and you guys actually see the shield. The shield is the size of a fucking baby. It's the same size as this. Like, oh, no. it's redonkulous. Make sure yours doesn't peel four times whenever you actually decide to paint it in like the next 20 years. Well, I mean, I, I probably won't be using Krylon, so I think I'm pretty sure on that. Pretty safe on that. Uh, Oh, this piece goes in here. That's right, pieces went everywhere. Get in there, then that back up in there. Uh, missing it. Not even remotely comparable, Legato, in quality. Like, not even remotely comparable. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're comparing a, you're comparing a, like, a turd with, like, <laughs> brands making a new car, is basically what you're, what you're doing. Which side is they considering right? My right or it's right? Um, we do have these, and these go up underneath. So, uh, the thruster pieces, those are magnetized in, because why not? I uh, still need to attach the thrusters into this side. Let's attempt to put these on the back. Ooh. Oh, we're going to have to fix that. Yeah, that's going to be a no point though. That's another piece. I am not going to attempt it with both of those on there. Get off there. Get out. Get out of the hole. Come on. Oh, you, really? That's why I get for not glued you in. So there's one of the pods. And I can technically open it up. Yeah. I'm gonna take that off because I don't trust it. 
Uh, so my next thing I'm gonna do uh, is pin this section down because there's a lot of back weight fits on there. But so far, this is what we have, and yeah, the head's over here. Just don't have it on there. There. Yes, I still need to attach that and put the face shield on there. So yeah. Do 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 do. Uh, I do have these. But again, that adds more back weight, so I still need to finish pinning that that chest section together. Uh, everything else on them is, is pretty damn solid. Uh, I'm probably going to end up taking that liquid resin and filling all the little pinholes, all the everything, and then we'll end up sanding it all down and everything. Um, but I'm actually enjoying just chit-chatting with you guys and just working on this and finally getting it looking whole. Yeah, it's been a good time, Dave. It's been a good time. Yeah. It's always fun. Always, always. So I want to thank you guys all for coming, hanging out, chatting with me. Me and my fraggle hair. Looking I would thank me again, Dave. You know what? Fuck you, Leon. Yeah, fuck me, Daddy Dave. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah. yeah. This is just a rerun of last night. Like, uh, Lexi completely gave me a complex last night. Like, huh? I said you completely gave me a complex last night. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the this is the gun. Like oh, wait, it wasn't work. Djibouti? Huh? No. Well, I mean he did, but no, it was Lexi that gave me the complex. I mean Djibouti oh, called you I... Big Papa. No, I gave him a co I caused the existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just exploited it. It's... Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, pretty much like it, 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 it's the re the reason is normally it wouldn't bother me, but I also know technically if you added the years together, I could be her dad. Um. Yeah, I, I I don't actually know how old you are, but I think you might actually relatively be around the age of my actual father. Oh. Well, how old's your how old's your actual dad? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's younger than Djibouti. Well, that's not saying much. I mean. Yeah, I think he's actually younger than you. Oh, by like, well, only by like a year or two. Era. Yeah, yeah, only by like a year or two, if that. Well, how old are you, Djibouti? Uh... uh -oh. He doesn't remember. I'm, I'm like... I'm like 20 plus 16. <laughs> oh, well, wait. No, wait. Oh, yeah. 20 plus 16. That would make you in your 30s. <laughs> that would make him 36. Come on, Dave. You could do math. No, I was. But you look a lot. Seriously? Is that how old you are? No. Yeah. No. Not at all. I was gonna say because you look a lot older than that. <laughs> what? Just He's dirty. Being <laughs> honest. Djibouti's in his fifties. Oh, are you? No. Seriously, how old are you? Don't make me text your wife and find out. <laughs> I'll leave him alone. He'll figure it out. I think my dad is like, either he's like fifty-three or fifty-four, somewhere around there. Oh, okay. Okay, so well, I. Well, then I'm younger. Then you're what? Younger. Younger. All right. Well, I mean, that makes me feel a little bit better. I don't 
feel like I'm like ancient anymore. I'm not the oldest one here. Dave, what's your age? Fight. 45, 46. In denial since I hit like 35, so I stopped <laughs> counting. So 46. Technically, 46 yeah, you could be dad. 29. Yeah, technically, I. Yeah, technically, I could have a like a twenty-five-year-old. Hold on, you said you're forty-six. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, legit. I could have like a fifteen, sixteen-year-old. Eighteen off or, that. You, yeah, you really could. You would have been uh -huh. twenty-one. Yeah. I mean, Maybe I know you could have had me when you were seventeen. I technically, you could be my son. I mean, I, I don't remember. I don't remember your mom, but it wasn't a very good time, <laughs> evidently, because I don't remember it. Hey, I don't blame you. Let me tell you, Dave, it wasn't a good time coming out of there either. <laughs> yes, like you remember, okay. So, so this is the freaking shield for the Sosby. Like, it is legit. Like, a, a child could run around and use this. It is legitimately from, at the longest point, 14 and a quarter inches from here to here. Like, it's freaking huge. Luckily, it does come with a stand to help hold it up. Uh, I do not trust hanging this off of his arm, but, but yeah. So that's there, and then there's the gun that goes, that can go in the other hand. Uh, but other than doing uh, little tidbits here and there, so on and so forth, and some other little cleanup, and then uh, if you guys want, I will sit and do nothing but a stream where we're panel lining because there are some of the panel lines that need to be uh, rescribed and cleaned up. I will be more than happy to do that to show you guys uh, if anybody wants to see that. It's just, just a scribe stream. All scribing, all the stream. Except for when I'm breaking shit. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. We've been going a little over two hours. Uh, thanks every uh, whole milk says me want to see uh, Chris Jones says scary thought and I think that's about the fact that I could be your dad um, <laughs> Thanks daddy Dave Which which makes me question life not my life other people's <laughs> lives Because you I'm hear alive. about you hear about people Djibouti's age dating people younger than your age I'm like, holy shit, like, what, why are you dating your daughter? Technically, you're almost dating your granddaughter. Like, ew. And it also makes, <laughs> and then it also makes me question both his choices and her choices because she's choosing to be with a wrinkly old man. I don't get it. But, evidently, when you're 50, 60, and dating a 20-year-old, that's legal. But when she's 16 and you're 22, you can go to prison. Well, that's because consent is a thing and she's not an adult. Yes. No, no, I get that. I get all that. No, I, I fully understand that. But, I mean, technically, if you, if you think about it, like, if you just break down and roll back the ages, like how old she was, like, technically, she wasn't even born yet. Technically, he could have conceived her. It's really fucking creepy. What were you talking about? No, I'm just talking about. Just talking He's about. He's talking about old people dating people that yeah. they shouldn't be dating. They old enough to have kids before the child even before like, they were even born. So Heidi sent me uh, one of the things Heidi sent me last night was it was a TikTok and it was this lady talking about um, her family tree, starting with her great grandparents, I think, or grandparents. And literally, it's just doing this all the way, all the way to the point that it's this girl, her two sisters, and then her stepsister, which is also her cousin, which is also her niece. That's weird. Wrap your head around that one. Um, yeah. I was I'd like, rather not. and I was like. I wonder if they realize that's illegal in most states. Like, like this family tree just goes in a fucking circle all the way down. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. 
This is where you end up with children with like three eyes and four nipples. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go because I'm freaking hungry. Uh, tune in tomorrow night. We will be doing another stream, working on this guy some more. Uh, actually, we will be working on this guy some more, but I may have a statue that I'm uh, unboxing tomorrow. So we will we'll see what ends up happening because one of the two statues should be here tomorrow. We will see. Uh, otherwise, we'll just do that all the weekend. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thumbs up to you, Michelle. Thank you for stopping by. I always appreciate every each and every one of you. Uh, and thank you, everybody, in voice uh, over on Discord for stopping by. I love each and every one of you. And as usual, we will see you on the next one. Peace.